Ooh, there's fish. A nice size brookie. Come back. Come back. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Ooh, missed. He'll come back for it. Ooh, I missed him. There we go. Got him. <laughs> that was awesome. Wrapped up on the sonar there. Oh, get out of that sonar. There we go. <laughs> nice fish. Chunky. Looks like a, might be a buck or a hen. It's really wrapped up in that stuff. Keep the gills wet while I get my gloves off. That was cool. I love having that underwater camera just to watch those fish come up. Take it. There you go. Nice big buck. Look how bulky his head is. Just like super girthy. It's pretty typical for these triploid rookies to be like that. All right. Get him going. See you, chunky boy. Bye. Man, it's really fun to watch it on the camera like that. This morning I'm fishing in about, let's see how deep this is. I think it's about seven, eight feet of water for some brook trout. Oh, there's one, a smaller one swimming around in front of the camera right now. He's like, I saw something happen over here. Let's see if we can get down there and get to him. Just using a little orange tungsten jig tipped with some wax worm. I, Got off Amazon since I don't have any local bait shops around me. All right, let's get down there. Fishing right above these weed beds. See if we can get that fish to come over here and grab it. He seemed like he was more interested in the camera. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he did not hesitate. Did you see that? <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, that was sweet. I just got my gloves back on. Ooh. Tend to run the drag a little tighter when I'm fishing next to the camera, so I don't want them wrapped up in the wire. This guy is wily. You done? Let him tire himself out there right at the hole. Beautiful fish. Hey, hey, hey. Rolling like a gator. That's a hen. There we go. Beautiful fish. See you, sweetie. That was super cool. Yeah, she's she's spurting eggs here. So that's not uncommon with these uh, early winter brookies. Okay, let's get another one. These brook trout are always associated with some sort of weed beds early in the season for me. Later in the season, they'll move out deep. I wish somebody could come up, oop, look at the, coming in eating those eggs that I just dropped down there. Do you see that? That's crazy. The eggs that came out of that hen, they, those fish turn around just chowing on them right now. <laughs> That's cool. I've never seen that behavior. They're like, well, I'll take a snack if you're gonna give it. I know that when I'm fishing for perch, um, a lot of times they'll throw up on the way up, especially when I'm bringing them up from depth. You'll see these clouds of perch moving in. I've always suspected that you're just kind of like artificially chumming when you bring up those perch from depth and you start puking up their guts. I guess the same works for trout when they're dumping their eggs. Let's get down there and see if we can bring that fish back. It's still there. It's just down there plowing around the bottom looking for eggs. Here it comes. Boom, got it. That's cool. Man, it's been lights out. I got here. Oh, that one just came up on the surface. There she goes back down. <laughs> I still got my bait too. That was awesome. She stirred up that bottom quite a bit. You can see all the suspended sediment there. That was like three fish in just a few minutes. That's crazy. Actually, when I first got here, I was trying to get the camera set up and just locate the jig. 
and oh there's a chunk of my my bait must have come off see it yeah that's my wax worm floating to <laughs> bring that back up yep must have got stripped off there pretty well when I first got here I was just trying to drop my gear down and get the camera oriented and there's this big old buck just kept he was not gonna leave it even if I kept taking it away from him he was like nope I'm I'm gonna eat that all right oh and there's our next customer Ooh, he's excited he's got him <laughs> they must just be loaded up right here Ooh, it's a nice buck oh he's a toad oh he's so pretty keep him away from that wire over there yeah this is a tank look at that Woo! he's a beastie boy Colors on his belly. So pretty. Dude, you're getting me all wet, bro. Okay. Calm down. It's a little bit slushy right now because it's been a little mild. Look at that guy. He's a gnarly looking dude. Wow, look how pretty he is. Look at the colors on that. I love that blue and gold. Super pretty fish. And I still got my bait. Let's get him back in the water. What I like about brook trout is like they're super chill in the hand. They're like little, little uh, teddy bears once you get them out of the water. You ready to go back home, buddy? See you later. See all the uh, eggs from the hens that came up and they were splashing around. They don't reproduce in here. This is just a stocked lake. Not like you're wasting anything. They are on the feed today. I don't even think I need my sonar. They're coming in so aggressive. Just shut it down, save the battery. Having the camera definitely makes trout fishing really fun, but I've noticed that there's certain species of trout that are really camera shy, and rainbow trout especially seem to be really spooky around the camera, whereas brookies are just like, they don't care. They'll, they'll put on a show for you. They don't care about the camera. In fact, a lot of times they seem really interested in the camera itself, whereas Rainbows will like, they'll swim by it and then they'll just zip away. They're like, oh, I gotta get away from that. I'm scared. It's kind of funny how different trout are like that. Tigers don't care. Browns don't care. The camera I'm using here today is my Pursuit HD from Markham. Just a small little camera. It's really easy to use. Compact. I always bring a backup battery. I forgot to charge it before I left the house, but fortunately I had a backup battery to battery bank to use. Wow, it's been like 60 seconds without a fish. I'm feeling like it's oh nope. I just had to say something. There he is. Look at him. He's like, oh, I want to eat it. Am I gonna eat it? Nope. Oh, oh. Nope. Nope. Yep. I took it away from him. He's gonna take it this time. Oh, ooh, got him. <laughs> that was sweet. Woohoo! Like a hen. Get me all wet. Do a quick release on her. See if we can get some more of those pretty bucks. They love to roll like an alligator they get themselves all wrapped up in the line it's got all wrapped around her body here come here come here sweetie i don't want to grab you with my gloves you know she's got that right in the jawbone get it out with my hands all right get my hands wet which i don't want to do but Come here, sweetie. All right, I got you. Wow, that water's cold. There we go. Go ahead. 
Yeah, she's also dumping eggs. Ooh, I forgot my towel today. I always bring a towel. Nice fishing. You dry off your hands. Good thing about wool gloves is though, when they get wet, they still keep you warm, unlike a lot of the synthetic materials out there. Digging the wax worms today. Ice is slushy today on top, but polar vortex is gonna break down next week. Open the door for some really cold temperatures, so excited for that. Let's see if we can't get another one on camera here. Yeah, so if you're using these cameras, especially if you're fishing for trout and you are fishing a lake with rainbows and you're not getting many fish, try pulling that camera out. I've noticed many times that I'll like be out there for an hour with a camera and I can't get any any bites. I pull the camera out and just use sonar and then I catch fish. So weird. I don't know why the rainbows are such weirdos, but they are. Every time I say I want one more fish, that's when there's like no fish will show up for like 20 minutes. <laughs> It's just, how, it's just the rule. So he's like, yeah, one more, I'll be happy. And then, of course, you have to work for that last one. It's the same way when you're trying to catch a limit of anything. You're like, you're like, oh, just have one more. I'll probably be done and go home the next few minutes. And that last fish takes like two hours. One thing's for sure is that, uh, when I fish for brook trout, I've run still dead stick rods and I've run active jigging rods like I'm doing now and for some reason with brook trout the the jigging rod always pulls in way more fish than the dead stick whereas with rainbow trout it can be either way on um, most days it seems like it's about 50 50 but sometimes for the rainbows it's the it seems like the dead stick will just crush and I'll really struggle with the active rod it's interesting. He's a feisty one. He missed. Oh, I pulled it away from him. Let's see if I saw a bait. Yep. No. Nope. Come back. Come back. He missed. Boy. Got him. <laughs> I think he even took my bait before he went, came back and went for it. Another hen. They give you many, many chances, these brookies do. Let's see if we do a quick release on her. Pretty hen there, nice looking tail on her. Good shape. Come on, sweetie. Weird little orange coloration on her tongue. There's another one down there. There's another brookie down there in the Rolling around down the bottom down there. Come on. She goes. See ya. I saw one cruising around the weeds down there. Trying to find out what all the hubbub was about. Get back down there. See if it's still around. There it is. That one's got nice marking on the top. Got him. Well, I don't want to get too greedy. So I think this will be my last fish of the day. Oh, it's a really pretty buck. Like golden. Great way to end this uh, amazing morning here on the ice. I could do this all day. Wow, he is really pretty. Get my gloves off.
Wow, he is stunning. You can see that little mark on his back. Come here, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> Got a little water on my camera there. Look at that buck. Man, isn't he pretty? Look at that tail. Bright orange. Stunning, stunning fish. I think I'm gonna make that fish my last one of the morning. I hope you enjoyed this video using my Markham Pursuit HD. I'll put links to that camera below. It's my favorite high definition portable camera for ice fishing. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye.